Here it says one number is two less than three times the other. If their sum is 18, then what are the two numbers? This is the section where we are allowed to have two variables. So let x equal um, one of the numbers. Okay, then y is the other. So when you have two variables, you're going to have to set it up with two equations. The first equation here is that their sum is 18. Okay, so sum means to add. x plus y is equal to 18. The second equation comes from this fact. One number is two less than three times the other. So one number is two less than three times the other. Okay, so here's the two less. 3 times the other minus 2. Alright, so here's our setup. The sum is 18 and one number is 2 less than 3 times the other. Notice we have two equations. Uh, two, it makes a linear system basically. We could solve this any method we want, um, but we're certainly not going to choose the graphing method. Uh, elimination method we could use, but I think this one's set up for substitution because we already have y by itself. So let's take y and substitute it into the other equation. When I make that substitution step I'll have x plus y and it's supposed to equal 18. All right, We're going to substitute in 3x minus 2. The only variable left is x so let's do the math. That leaves us with 4x minus 2 equals 18. Okay adding 2 to both sides, 4x equals 20, and then dividing by 4, leaves us with the answer here, x equals 5. Okay, so that tells me one number is 5. Now it comes out to the other number. The other number, y, after we back substitute, is, well, 3 times x minus 2. So back substituting in 5, we can figure that out here. We have 15 minus 2, which is 13. So the other number is 13. So the two numbers are 5 and 13. And sure enough, their sum is 18. Um, don't just guess and check at these. You want to set this up using algebra, because certainly the numbers could be a little bit more difficult to guess at.